welcome to Team Wild's Extreme Hoggers. This week we're down in Alabama with the guys at the Enon Plantation. Hi, I'm Randy Brown with Extreme Hog Hunter Magazine and uh, going to do a little do a little different today. He's, I am uh, fortunate enough to have my, my wife, Sharon, and my daughter, Kenzie, which both love to hog hunt, just don't get to do it that much. So today we're going to feature them. We're going to let them do the, do the hunting and, get, and show you how the girls get it done here in Alabama. Kenzie, what you, how many you got so far? 16 so far. With, with a knife, right? With a knife. And mama's got what? Like three. Oh yeah, you got her beat, don't you? By far. All right, so let's head out and see, what, see if we can't get one bait up and see if we can't get your handle. If it ain't too big, I'll let you catch it. Never too big. How about that? Let's get them. Let's Good. roll with it. The Brown family get loaded up and head out on the trail. gotten far when Randy spots some tracks. Got some fresh tracks right here. Uh, you want to drop those two out? Yeah. Uh, hold on just a minute. We got a uh, we got a lot of rain all it rained all day yesterday and all night and night uh, last night so it's pretty easy to find some fresh tracks. So what we're gonna do, I see some right here. So we're gonna go ahead and drop these out and just let these dogs work this area. Good pine thicket back here behind us. Probably more than likely where they're bedded. And so uh, we're just gonna let them out right here and just let them run with the ranger. Drop them out, Squirt. That's their cue to drop the dogs off and follow behind in the buggy. All right, let's go. Randy knows his dogs like the back of his hand. He can sense when they're onto something by the way they move and the body language. He stopped the buggy because he can see the dogs in the distance and they look interested in something. But they eventually return after the scent runs cold. They load up and head on. There's tracks and scent all over these woods and between Randy and the dogs, they need to find fresh signs of life. Some tracks fade away from being beaten by the weather. Some scents disappear. But when the dogs smell something fresh, they take off in that direction and Andy knows for sure there's a hog nearby. Get in here, girl. Come on, get in here. The dogs are moving excitedly and can smell something, but they're struggling to pick up the trail in full. As Randy looks to take the dogs back in the other direction, one of them takes off at speed. We're baying right now. Randy and Kinsey head through the thick stuff and they know there's hogs nearby. It's gonna be a group of them now, just stay back till they get the board off. The dogs are barking as they bay a hog. Tell her, tell her, go ahead and send him right there. Randy can see two hogs and amongst the thick stuff. Tank kicks in with his usual wallop. And it's on. Go, go, go! Randy and Kinsey rushing to grab the Watch dogs. the other hog! Watch the other hog right here! Ha ha! Get out! Catch it, bro! Catch it! Catch that hog! Let me keep this hog buddy! Catch that hog! Kinsey grabs one by the back legs and tries to flip it. Squeals and shrieks as he tries to make a break for it. But Miss Kinsey ain't letting go. Then Mama lends a helping hand and Kinsey flips that hog onto his back. Gets a knee down on him and that hog ain't going nowhere. Kinsey's handed the knife. For sure, that hog ain't going nowhere. Tank's desperately trying to get another bite at the hog. But Miss Kinsey does the business, puts it out of its misery and the hog soon passes. Good job, Squirt. That's the way to get it done. It was scary there for a minute, wasn't it? Yeah, the other hog wouldn't leave. Well, the hog wouldn't leave. We had a little dilemma on our hands. Had another hog here with her, a little bit bigger probably, and they wouldn't leave. They just stand side by side. So Bulldog's calling this one. This dog was running, hog was running around with all the Bulldog. <laughs> so I had to let her catch the hog so I can keep batting off of us. But we got it done. 
Awesome, Squirt. Way to go, Mama. What are you hauling her? Tell her to catch it for. You here? You supposed to be helping. Holy cow! Great hawk. Look how fat this heifer is. That's gonna be some good eating right there now. Some real good eating. All right. What was you thinking then? Yeah, I can get it. Wasn't much thinking going on. <laughs> Didn't have time. Come down here. What's this make? How many did you say? This is 17. I hear you. Pretty nice, fat sow. There you go. The girls got it done. And uh, it took us a little while to get on some good, good sign, and finally they got them straightened out and bait up to it one time, as you, as you were seeing. The other hog, she just wouldn't leave, or he, whatever it was. But uh, we finally got him, put enough pressure on him to make it, make him get the heck out of here. He don't let her chew it up, baby. That a girl, that a girl. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this thing, get it gutted out, because this is some really, really good eating. Nice, fat sow. And get it gutted out and get it loaded up and get it processed tonight so we can have some sausage and pork chops. What y'all girls think? Good. Way to go, Mom. What you breathing hard for, fat girl? <laughs> Here, let Mama grab a dog. Another problem porker taken out of action at Enon. And this time, it's been a proper family affair. And you want to know the moral of the story? Don't mess with the Brown family. <laughs> Especially Miss Kinsey. Randy loads the hog up onto the truck and Tang gets a drink of water as his reward. Loaded up, they head out again. Watch out, hogs. Browns are coming. Subscribe to Team TV for all the best hunting shows on YouTube.